But I, I just had a note from the MSU game. Okay, they lost, and, and they were not supposed to win. And I know they're going through a really tough time for their program. But I thought something Harlan Barnett said, the interim head coach, was a new low. He said after the game that he asked MSU players in the locker room if anybody felt like they wanted to leave. Said, quote, you can raise your hand, no love lost, and then you can move on. It's no problem. Nobody raised their hand. Nobody raised their hand. So that's a good sign, end quote. Am I piling on to bring up that that's a really embarrassing look for a coach? Hey, nobody immediately packed their bags and quit after the game. Good sign that nobody actively left right after the game. He asked them if they wanted to quit. No questions asked. Like, John, that's kind of a lame thing to do, right? Well, I mean, Harlan Barnett is in as impossible a spot as you could be in as a head coach. No or disagreement. As an interim head coach. No disagreement. And, I mean, all of the players right now, if you ask this question, I mean, maybe the, the day that Mel, Tyker, Mel Tucker is officially fired, but you ask them individually or not in a, you know, I don't, it's not a public setting, but it's public in regards to everybody is there. I don't. I wouldn't expect the guy in front of a hundred of his teammates to raise his hand and say, "Yeah, coach, I'm gone." Like it's it's going. It's not going to happen in the open. It's going to happen behind closed doors. Oh, guys will hit the portal, and I think yeah. one since has already since the end of that game. The guys are going to hit the portal. I don't know why he asked, but that's his business privately. I don't know why he then volunteered publicly. Hey, it's a good sign. Nobody quit right after the game. Like Harlan, I don't know. What, come I don't on. know. So again, I I don't know what the question was he that was asked of him. He volunteered it though. No one asked. I mean, come. On. He volunteered. This was a statement. This that's the statement. You can raise. He said he asked MSU players in the locker room if anybody felt like they wanted to leave. You can raise your hand. No love lost, and you can move on. No one raised their hand. No one raised their hand. So that's a good sign. So, but but my question is, did he come out in the? Po- I didn't see the post game press conference. Was this what he led with? Or was this? I think this was later in the conversation. You know, hey, how are your players handling this? Have you heard from anybody that they want to leave? Well, you can make the comment that they didn't quit because I don't think they did. They they, they took dumb penalties. They turned the ball over. They made mistakes, but I don't think his team quit. Right. That's fine. You can acknowledge your team didn't quit, but to say it's a good sign that nobody immediately raised their hand after the game to quit, boy, that's a low bar, dude. It's kind of an embarrassing thing to, I don't want to say brag about, but to throw back out is a good sign. Again. Things have gotten really bad. Things are really bad in East Lansing, and I feel bad for the kids. And I'm not going to, and I feel bad for Harlan Barnett. Like, he's in an impossible situation. So I'm not going to sit here and, and, and totally pile on. While I may enjoy it, again, not publicly, but maybe behind closed doors, everything that's going on. I think I'm going to give him a little bit of grace and definitely the players a a lot of grace because they didn't choose this situation. They chose to come play for Mel Tucker. They didn't choose what is going on right now. Going into this season, nobody thought that they were going to be a 10 or 11 win team. Maybe inside that locker room, you've got guys, players who thought, hey, I'm going to construct a plan that we can win 9, 10 games. We could compete for the Big Ten East. Almost everybody else thought they're not going to be able to do that. And now you throw on top of this everything that's going on with Mel Tucker. I don't know what we are expecting of Harlan Barnett, but I'm not going to sit here and crucify him for saying something like this. Is it ideal? No. But I don't think it's a position that he ever thought he would be in as a coach. Yeah, I, and I think it's an impossible situation mm-hmm. for virtually every single person right now. I really do. Because it's... There's no nobody's defending Mel Tucker. There's no other side no. of the story. Everybody sees the writing on the wall. These are kids that he recruited. Then you have two guys, Barnett and then with D'Antonio, that are kind of viewed as okay, yeah, they they love the program. There is no doubt no question. they love the program. But they are dinosaurish a little bit in today's college football. And it just is this perfect storm for this to be a complete and total disaster. I heard some people after the game heard these two things that Michigan State fans like I'm I don't even care I don't care right now it's because because there's what are you going to do it's so easy to they're horrible on the field yeah they're offensively 16 points at home against two teams that are not like awesome defenses you know they're maybe okay but are they awesome no and 
it's I heard other people say I'm not watching anymore. And that's where it's at. 